Hey guys, so this Canada Day, July 1st, we are spending it apparently getting our house cleaned and organized. Yeah. Anyway, um, funny side note, this video I bought the Baby Brezza bottle sterilizer as you can see. Um, funny backstory about it though, Josh and I were on a date night and I think I talked about it in one of my other videos, but anyway. Josh and I were exchanging some clothes at Walmart and I go buy this thing and I was like, oh my gosh, I totally saw somebody use this in another video and like, man, that thing takes like 90 minutes to clean and sterilize bottles and blah, 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 blah. And I was totally making fun of it. And then I feel like God was like, yeah, okay, Kelsey, now you have to buy it. But no, I didn't have to buy this one. There was another one and it was a bit uh, less expensive, but it didn't look like this one. You can clean a lot of bottles with, it looks like, and you can clean tall bottles, small bottles, the nipples, everything all at the same time, whereas this other one looked like it was gonna be a bit of a process and a chore of like, you know, doing a few bottles at a time. And I didn't, it didn't, it said that it worked with one specific type of bottle. It didn't say it would work with a bunch of other types. So I was kind of scared um, that I might get it home and it might not work for, I have the Dr. Brown's bottles, so. I'm sure it would have, but I didn't know if it would like do a lot at once. It didn't really look that big. Um, so I was like, you know what? Screw it. I've actually seen how this one works on YouTube. So I'm just going to buy it. Uh, it was 160 bucks, which sucks, especially because we try to breastfeed. Um, like Joseph, we hardly ever used bottles for, but I will be keeping it for the future. So that way, if any future babies have to be bottle fed, um, or I do sterilize all the bottles before I use them. And then I usually sterilize them like once or twice, maybe three times, probably not. I like, I think twice is a stretch. Um, when the kid is healthy and they're just drinking from the bottle, um, like the boys with formula, I hardly ever sterilized. It was only once they started to get a little cloudy and gunky, I'd sterilize them again. Um, and I've said before, it's because we are pretty firm believers in our kids needing to be in contact with dirt to build their immune system. Uh, the only reason I high bought this sterilizer and have to use it is because Jordana has really bad thrush and we're battling that right now. So I have to sterilize at least her nipple, uh, like the nipples right now in the bottles. Um, and I was gonna sterilize the caps on it. And I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna sterilize all of it just to make sure the yeast is not growing on anything. She's on medication called Nystatin. I'm on like a nipple ointment as well. And I'll be sterilizing all of the pumping equipment as well. So that way we can get this basically rid of because she has her lip tie tongue tie procedure coming up and we need to get rid of it ASAP. And why is the, who's pushing the fridge? Joshua, are you pushing the fridge? Yeah, to make room. That scared me. Um, I just saw the fridge moving. It freaked me out. We live in an old house. You never know. There's a ghost. Anyway, um, but yeah, so I'm going to show you guys what this thing looks like. Another reason I'm not just like boiling a pot of water, which is actually what I did when I bought the um, Dr. Brown's bottles. I just boiled water and sterilize it all that way. And our water has a lot of like calcium minerals. I don't know what else is in it, um, but it's well water. And so after I boiled the water and sterilized all the bottles and stuff, um, I had to wash it in hot soapy water anyway, cause it was just covered in, like it just looked white and cloudy and covered in like whatever is in our water. So I was like, I'm not doing that uh, every single day after I use these bottles and I don't have time to sit there and wait like the 10 minutes sitting it in the boiling water and whatnot. And then like after our water's boiled at the bottom, like if you don't put food in it, cause obviously I'm sure whatever that, I think it's salt or I don't know what's in it, but um, it would obviously go into the food, which it doesn't like, our water doesn't taste bad. It's just that there's like sediment in it. And especially when you boil a pot of water and then you like let it sit, all the white stuff is at the bottom. Um, so because of that, I've actually bought bottled water to use in this sterilizer so that I don't break it because we regularly have to clean out our kettle and coffee maker because of our water, even though I put it through the Brita filter 
Um, it obviously doesn't filter whatever this sediment is. It doesn't filter that out of it. So I have to clean, like our coffee maker, I'm going to have to start cleaning once a week because it's really slowing down. It's taking like half an hour to do like six cups of coffee. Whereas when we first bought it, it was like done in five minutes. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to have to clean this weekly. But anyway, baby Brezza. This is it. This looks like so futuristic. Anyway, this is it. I opened it to get the instructions out because I like to know what the heck I'm doing before I do anything so I don't wreck it. And I kind of wanted to know if you had to like clean the parts, like clean it before you use it. This, just so I have it for future use as well, is all of the parts. And then I'm also going to show you the how-to in case I lose this manual and I can go back and watch this. So this is the setup in use. And I don't know what that says. Sterilize and auto dry. This is the sterilize only function. What is that? Dry only and cleaning. That's a lot of cleaning. Yeah, see right here it says mineral residue, particularly in hard water areas. That's me may deposit on the stainless steel heating plate after a few sterilization cycles to avoid scale buildup wipe the surfaces with a soft moist cloth after each operation and that's why i'm buying some bottled water um for now i might i don't really want to afford having to buy bottled water all the time so we might just go which it's nice to know that the mineral buildup is not going to at least wreck it as long as i take care of it um, but i have not pulled this out really so it's got a cover over the plug and lots of cardboard, which I don't know if this, I don't know, we burn our cardboard, so, because we would have to pay for our cardboard to be taken away. This is it. All right. That was it. All in one. It's plastic wrapped. Like it's like vacuum seal plastic left um oh and then there's the french that's a lot of and i'm gonna throw that in the burn pile which is literally just a pile of cardboard beside our garbage and we usually burn it in our we have fires like every friday during the summer and then like maybe once a month during the winter and we just burn all our cardboard although now we pay for a dumpster bin so i'm sure we should just be throwing it all in there but then it's going into the landfill whereas now we're not using a lot of firewood for our campfires which we're not roasting marshmallows on it don't get me wrong um we just like watching the fire we're not pyros this is not coming off easy. Ooh. This is now super staticky. So I'm going to bring over everything that I have previously washed um, with hot soapy water. You're supposed to wash it all first and then sterilize it. So I should probably get those instructions back and figure that out first. Oh, it's a little piece of cardboard on it. Yeah, so that's what it looks like. You can remove this and store it in your cupboard if you want something to store it on. Um, I'm not going to store it like that because I don't want to have to clean it all the time. So it says to use distilled water, but we couldn't find distilled water. So we're just using like bottled water, which I think is clean enough. We're basically just sterilizing these to like kill any yeast. So place the excess, place clean bottles with their opening facing downward on the lower post and place the bottle accessories in the upper rack. And I'm not just using bottle accessories. I'm using pumping accessories too.
I sucked at Tetris as a kid, so that was uh, a lot more than I thought it would be, but now we're gonna put the water in it. Ah, all right. What? That is the max line. I can't see, I can't see, I can't see. Right there, it says max. And if you have to dump it out, there's like a little handle over here and there's a little symbol there that tells you to dump it out that side and I'm assuming so it doesn't go into this hole. Okay, we have found the max line. So I filled it until it basically just started hitting this plastic on the side. I can't see the plastic. It's the white stuff. Oh. And then. All right. And you'll see the two arrows so there's no gaps and then we're going to push the on off button once and it will display zeros and the backlight will turn blue choose your desired function so if you want to sterilize and auto dry press the sterilize and auto dry button well, we're going to go through these, just so I know for future reference, too. Sterilize and auto-dry. Sterilize only. Dryer only. On-off button. There you go, future Kelsey. Sterilize and auto-dry. So you can choose the drying time. So you would push the sterilize and auto-dry button one time for a 45-minute dry time, two times for a 60-minute dry time, and three times for a 30 minute dry time. And it will start three seconds after the last button is pressed. And then it counts down when the sterilization cycle is complete, The this will beep, pause for three seconds and it'll begin drying. And when it's completed, it beeps five times. So if you wanna sterilize only, you just hit it and it'll beep five times when it's done. And if you want to dry it only, then again, you're going through the cycle of you hit it one time for 30, two times for 45, and three times for 60 minutes. And then it will start and beep five times when it's done. Push it hard there. All right, and then we want to dry, let's do a 30 minute dry time, so hit this button three times. There. So just a note, and I'm pretty sure it says this in the instructions, that this gets really hot. This is warm, but this is really hot. So make sure it's somewhere that no one's going to touch it, especially little hands.
another note. Um, when it's on the drying cycle, it's not like it's warm, but it's not as hot as it was obviously on the sterilization cycle. So essentially you just want to make sure that any little hands are not touching it during that sterilization cycle because it is hot. All right, so this is done. Ooh. So that was one bottle of the big bottle of Dr. Brown's plus my pumping stuff. So, and that basically filled it up, which is nice. And now I've got three bottles to sanitize after this. And I got a pump because I haven't actually done that yet today and it's 1 p.m. So, gotta go get on that. And I also want to note, it's nice and clean. There's no like, doesn't look like there's any like cloudy residue or anything. So nice so this is what got cleaned and then it has no water left in it so be sure to fill it every time so